And you're listening to Fox Given, the one that's all about lube. Oh, oh hi, Florence. Oh, hi. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, you actually, I can Wait. touch and feel you. This oh is crazy. Oh my gosh. You're so warm. <laughs> and sweaty and clammy. And sweaty. And I'm really sweaty and clammy uh, too. Because we are in a studio surrounded by lube and in person for the first time in I, ages. I actually can't. I don't know what to do with myself. It's, know, it, it feels really abnormal. It's but also so weird. Really exciting. Like, it's getting me moist. Getting you moist. Yeah, man. It's, yes. I am no longer in my living room in like a hoodie <laughs> with like, I don't know, sitting. I'm trying to think like, like what am I sitting in? Pajama bottoms. This is so true. This is the good old days. We used to record Fox Given together in person all the time. And then what happened? Rona. C word. The, the C word. The C word. I can't say that. There's something really exciting about today as well. It's not just the fact that we are together in a studio, which is obviously really cool. We are sponsored by Durex, which we is are. crazy. Because Durex is is that brand that we remember from being teenagers. Yeah. From like scrambling and trying to get your first condom and don't tell anyone because you're going to have sex with them. Exactly. Time. Like the age old Durex and their naturals range, which is something very dear to our hearts. Yes. So we're super, Cousins. super excited. Because <laughs> lube is one of our absolute favorite subjects. It really is. Mm -hmm. It really is. We talk, I swear we talk about lube in almost every single episode we do and we we forget how important it is as well i mean today we want to talk about everything from the stigma of it to mm. talking about vaginal dryness and why we get it yeah to how it heightens female pleasure and not just female pleasure pleasure of all genders all true. sexualities i don't I, I can't i literally cannot masturbate or have sex without lube these days. That is so true, me too. Me too. And I'm finally at a point in my life where I have no shame to go grab the lube. Yeah, no shame or even better, someone else grabs it for <gasps> you. Oh my God. <gasps> Those moments. Wide on. <laughs> Whoa. When someone else grabs the lube, I actually can't. It's so sweet. It's the sweetest thing. Yeah, it really is. It's better than getting bought flowers. Like thinking about my vaginal care oh my god and my pleasure um florence why do you use lube well i get dry believe it or not i actually no. am not wet what 100 of the young time sexual woman <laughs> and you do not get wet all the time no and i don't think i ever have there's always mm. been those kind of moments as well in the past where I felt so bad. I'm like, I'm sure I'm turned on. Yeah. But maybe I'm not turned on because I'm not wet. Mm -hmm. and, and then I, the other per you think about what the other person thinks. And you think that they think that I'm not attracted to you or they're not doing good enough and they're not getting me wet. And you know what? That's probably just the evil cyclical cycle that it is. It could and it can happen at any point of your cycle. There's mm -hmm. there's so many things in play when it comes to vaginal wetness. The worst one is when you've been horny all day and you're desperate yeah, to yeah. have sex and then it, it comes to it and it's just it's just yeah. not there. And you feel, it's, I think it's society that's made us feel bad oh or like we're broken. Yeah, one of my pet hates is when people sexed with you prior to having sex with you. Oh, yeah. And that, like they talk about how wet your pussy is. Yeah, almost like, mm, okay, are you, t are you telling my pussy it's gotta be yeah. this wet? Cause that's just yeah. instantly gonna dry me out. I suddenly feel loads of pressure. Cause the I'm pressure. like, when I'm reading the sex, I'm like, shit, that's not turning me on because you're putting so much pressure on my vag right now. Yeah. I'm not like dripping wet, come on. So because of our menstruation, we can be dry up to two thirds of our month because of yeah. our cycle, right? Yeah. And so it is perfectly normal to be dry, but there are some instances where it's not normal and you do need to speak to a professional. Yeah. We're not taught about this as well. And I think this is what's actually crazy is that in like sex education, everything, no one ever to tells us this, but what we are told or what we have fed through us, through porn. Through like, porn, evil. <laughs> just people talking about sex in general is you need to be super wet if you're turned on and that's what's hot. It's so like 
it in, it gets internalized inside, doesn't it? And it's yeah. it's kind of sh it's been real shitty. Yeah, and it's and it, we are porn directors. We have yeah. filmed porn. We know what the porn industry is like. That wetness that you're seeing in porn is actually just lubricant anyway. They're the smart yeah. ones using lube because they're having to fuck for hours at a time to make you content. This is very very. But true. no one no one sees that. No one shows that. You, it's just pretending that it's just mm -hmm. all this wetness coming from women. I know. I mean, squirting is a different thing. Yeah, which is why it's so important, I think, to have these conversations. Mm. And like for everyone listening, listen up, because like this is going to change your life. I think when I started using lube, it it changed my life for me because for it, it got sure. rid of so much of that shame and stigma of, oh, no, like the sex is kind of uncomfortable because yes. like sometimes I have sex mm -hmm. and I don't use lube and it's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. But when I am drier, it's uncomfortable. You're like, oh, why? Like, I thought I was really turned on. It's so confusing. Yeah, you pick yourself apart over you it really as do. well. And then you, you don't want to be that person to admit it, which is so wrong because you will have better sex and better solo yeah. sex if you use lube. Yeah. I mean, it was a game changer for me. I love... I literally, I love when I masturbate and I use insertable toys with, what's it called? Dual pleasure, dual, yeah, duo, the, the dual orgasm. Yeah. That's like my favorite way to masturbate. Yeah. And when I finally realized I didn't have to shove a dry toy inside me every time, <laughs> I actually like warmed myself up to the yeah, whole thing. My yeah. orgasms were so much better. I enjoyed <laughs> the whole process more rather than being like, yeah. Oh my god. It's in. Let's go. It's I can remember okay. those moments so clearly when you get your first rabbit vibrator and yeah. you're like and you're just like, wow, this is so big. It's like, you're, not, you're not actually that big. Just use some fucking lube. Your your vag hole wants it. It's greedy. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna take it, but it just needs lube to help slip it in. Oh my god, it slips in so easily. Yeah. So nicely. And then on top of that, lube. the the stigma of like when you use lube and you're like, am I really this wide? <gasps> Oh my god, I'm not tight anymore. And it's like, oh my where where does it end? Where does Literally it end? porn ruined our lives. Why, why porn? Why? But the porn that we make doesn't ruin lives. It no, actually, it actually saves helps them. Yeah, it saves saves them. <laughs> saves okay. people's the lives. The narcissism is coming out today. <laughs> we save lives. We actually do, to be fair, we do. We we have done. We save sex lives. Sex lives are like Hey. <laughs> Right. Okay. Moving swiftly on. Okay, moving on. Mm -hmm. Um, do I use lube? Yes. We're we coming back here. Yeah. Cause I feel like we didn't actually talk about actually personally mm -hmm. using lube like now. Mm -hmm. I try and use lube every single time I have sex mm -hmm. because I know that it's gonna heighten my pleasure. And it's just huge, huge plus points when my partners are super into it as well, especially when they go and grab it first. Yeah. Do you use lube now? Like every time you have sex okay maybe not every time <laughs> you threw that on the end I was gonna be like yes absolutely uh, yes uh, I mean I'm lazy and sloppy and sometimes I don't think about using lube I think we all we all, we have all those do moments. that right yeah, yeah. but especially when you're in uh, I mean I found that when I'm in a long-term relationship mm. lube is so necessary that's like, I guess that's the time where I always start incorporating it way more because the more comfortable you get with someone, the easier it is to bring lube into the conversation or yeah. into the bedroom. Mm. But this is because of the shame though. And that's why it's easier with someone you're comfortable with because it's some, sometimes I think we're just embarrassed when it comes to new people, new partners. Which needs lube. to end because yeah, you're like, oh my God, I want you to see me as like the wettest. Yeah, I'm so moist. <laughs> wow. But honestly, um, one night stand sex changed for me when I had like my little shag bag and I always had a sachet of lube in yes, my shag bag. The shag bag. Especially when you've been like drinking and having a nice time. Yeah. You're just so dehydrated anyway. That is such a good idea. Mm -hmm. Having a little shag bag. Bag. And it would almost be like the pre-interview stage, the test of being like, so what are your thoughts on lube? And if they're like, oh, like weird about it, or if That's they're like, so yeah, true. let's get lube. I'm like, all right, you know your shit, let's go. Yeah, we just need to educate people more. Yeah, make it make lube cool, which yeah. is what we need to do. Well, I remember back in the day, 
like the first time that I ever experienced using lube, mm -hmm. I had thought that lube was just for grandmas yeah, and the grannies. the grandma idea of like the old yeah. pussy. And it's like, that we need to get that image out of yeah. our fucking heads. Oh my God. Because yeah, one of, my, one of my partners brought it out and I was so offended. Really? I was like, you think Offended. that I Fuck. need, am I not wet enough Fuck. already I think you're for right. you? Yeah, like horrified, like, <gasps> how dare horrified. you suggest that I am not wet? Yeah. I, I am not broken. Exactly. But that's how it made me feel, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. was that I was broken in some kind of way because... I wasn't wet enough yeah. and that stigma like lasted way into some of my other relationships in my kind of like late teens mm -hmm. early 20s um there was one where I really like this guy and we every time we had sex it hurt oh. so much I, it was so I uncomfortable an like mm -hmm. and if we had used lube we probably would have been having way better sex yep i just, and then it just i remember we, he had some in worse. his drawer and mm -hmm. i was like oh god no yeah no i can't use that no Why? i'm fairly certain one of the reasons i broke up with like an ex when i was a teenager was because the sex hurt so much and i got scared about having sex yeah and i've always used lube just before we have sex because i found in the past if you don't use lube and then have sex and then use lube afterwards then it stings and then you don't want to go <gasps> near the lube that's so true and then you're like oh no lube's bad because i'm stinging it's like no because you've already torn yourself yeah you know oh i know no. it's so sad no. like I can't, I'm trying to remember when I first started getting comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. And it's probably when we started Come Curious yeah. and we started talking about sex. Because Which wasn't that long ago. I mean, it's like well, eight, seven, seven ago. years ago. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Seven, eight years. Is it seven <laughs> or eight years? Maybe in the middle. But I thought it was eight, but maybe I'm just making Maybe that it up. is nearly eight. Shit. But um, anyway, regardless, we had to have these conversations about sex for me to even consider Mm -hmm. it as a normal thing yeah and no one no one was i remember me and my friends always talking about condoms but none of us would ever talk about lube and i yeah. think it is that a sh like we just felt shame and it's so sad mm -hmm. as women that we would be feeling that when it's actually just completely natural when it comes to our menstrual cycle can you imagine how many virginities like people losing their first virginity <gasps> and sex would be would go down so much better if we use yeah. lube. If lube was just part of the package, like having sex for the first time or having penetrative sex for the first time, yeah. use lube. If school had taught so us that, true. things would be so different. Although it would probably be fucking like rabbits. The amount of penises that have been like thumbed in. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And you're there just like, ow, ow, yeah, ow. Like, oh my God. Yeah. If, if we knew virginity could actually feel good yeah i mean probably a lot of the blood, losing your virginity <laughs> virginity, virginity. Could feel good. the construct um, of virginity did you use lube when you lost your virginity what was your virginity story you should know this by now i know yeah um no i did not use lube i was terrified um I definitely, I bled, but I don't think that was because of the hymen. I think that was because we didn't use lube. But oh. I remember being like really proud that I got on top. Oh my God. Yeah, that's yeah, the story. Right, you got yeah. on top for I got your on first top for my time. first time. Except like sex with my very first boyfriend was terrible. We yeah. always shagged in the dark. I never saw his penis <laughs> ever in the year and a half that I was with him. Yeah. To be fair, I don't think I saw my first boyfriend's penis that much either because I was low-key terrified of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think I was. I think I remember the first time when I, we were like making out and I felt his first hard and I was like, I think I'm going to go home now. Like, <laughs> so scared. So scary. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad in that relationship as well because mm -hmm. he went down on me all the time nice. and I was like... Just, I was so scared of doing blowjobs and stuff. The, the only time that I gave him a blowjob was at a house party when I had gotten drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this is the time. Um, okay, remember if we think about and we cringe at our old selves, it just means we've grown as people. We have grown so much. Yeah, look how, look how amazing. <laughs> look how amazing gonna, we are. I was gonna say how much amazing knowledge we've got, <laughs> but also look how amazing we are, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. I mean, my virginity was all right, but it would have mm. been so much better if 
it was just a little bit more slip and slide. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're talking about vaginas a lot, but what about butthole virginity? Oh my God. I know. Oh. 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 Butthole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this anal is just a no go, right? Without lube. It, it is. Yeah. 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 But it honestly. Have you ever tried is. it without lube? <laughs> it, the, it's just pain. It's I mean, the only pain. times that I've had anal without lube is the mistake anal oh. with the mistake penetration with the fast pumping. Oh my God. R.I.P. The worst Bummer. pain in the life. Maybe in the life. <laughs> the worst pain in the life of Florence. <laughs> in the life. Yeah, so me personally, I could not do anal without lube. Same, same. I would need it to feel comfortable for it to be a nice slip and slide action. Yeah, I would need a whole thing going on for anal. Yeah, it I mean, the whoa. whole tease up for me needs mm. to be lubricated as well yeah like my mind needs to be lubricated my yes <laughs> there's just my so <laughs> much in play when it comes to anal i think as well we are only just on our we're, like we're we're at the beginning of our yeah. anal journey anal voyages the all, voyage <laughs> the voyage <laughs> yeah and we're a bit tentative as well yeah we have yet to discover the pleasure and delights that yeah. anal can give but yeah, for everyone out there that's trying anal for the first time, we like uh, one of our top pieces of, of advice would always be get lube involved mm -hmm. and go slowly. Yeah, absolutely. So we asked the curious fuckers their own lube stories. Shall we read out a few? Yes, I think we should. They, they were great. <laughs> okay, so the first one is me and my partner use lube all the time as someone who is on medication. Sometimes it's hard to get wet enough, so lube is a basic in our sex lives. Medication, we don't really talk about enough. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm, I've been on acne medication for a while and I'm fairly certain that that has affected my vaginal wetness. So yeah, loads of things can cause dryness as well, like medication, stress, your menstrual cycle. But obviously if you do experience dryness, I think, if you're on certain types of medication, it's always good to check with your GP as well, always just good. to make sure. Yeah, speak to a professional. Don't just like speculate and self-diagnose. Yeah. That can be tricky. So another listener story here. I'm breastfeeding, which can cause dryness, but nobody tells you that. Lube is essential for us now. Sex would be painful for me without it, but it isn't a replacement for foreplay. Oh, breastfeeding. Yeah. This wow, is that was dramatic with the clipboard. Breast <laughs> breastfeeding. <laughs> yeah, that's really interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I think you know, it's just another part of your life that lube becomes like an essential. Mm -hmm. um, I like that they mentioned that it isn't a replacement for foreplay. Yes, that was cool. Yeah. Because I think that happens quite a lot with lube as well. Like people think, well, they're already wet because I've got the lube here. Doesn't mean that we have to like warm each other up initially. But that's so like, so bad. Mm. I mean, some people like going straight into penetration or whatever's happening with the lube. Yeah. But like arousal has so many different layers. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, personally for me, I wouldn't like to go straight in just because we've got a lube. Like I need to be like mentally stimulated. Like I want my vulva to like swell with anticipation, you know? <laughs> yeah, be raring to go. Yeah. Mm. Next story is, I use lube all the time. I have a vagina and regardless of how turned on I am, I don't really get wet. I use lube to masturbate, but also with people. Penetration without lube is so painful to me. I also love lube for hand jobs. It's always on my bedside table. And if my partner has a problem with it, it's probably just from ignorance. I just like it wet. Wetter oh. is better this is this is one of our mottos it's one of our tag lines <laughs> tattooed on our forehead that literally consent communication <laughs> communication is key <laughs> wetter is yeah. better all yeah, of those things well wait why aren't those on our merch <laughs> what what but also i love what she said here about hand jobs i never think about lube for hand jobs right but i think that's because i'm like such a princess when it comes to you don't like getting messy. i don't like mess don't mind if it's somebody else's bed though yeah That's i okay. either use like a shit ton of spit yeah or 
I get the lube out. Yeah. To be to be fair, I think I give my best hand jobs when I'm using lube because yeah. it's even wetter. Yeah. You know, and there's just. I mean, why wouldn't sleeping. it be better? It's just it it makes sense. Like dry hands. The idea of somebody yeah. fingering me or like touching my clit dry isn't really doing it that's so true mm -hmm. and it's, it's, so it's not just for penis owners yeah. it's not for like the penis only the clit the vulva she likes to be wet too she loves it she loves it <laughs> and sometimes you know when people spit on you sometimes it's a bit like come on like you just <laughs> spat right on my vagina yeah. did i consent to that like i get a bit mm -hmm. icky about it but then I yeah. have a weird thing with spit as well. Yeah, I like, I don't mind it, but only because it's become very normal. Yeah. Whereas like, if we could normalize using lube instead <gasps> of spitting on vaginas, oh my, that would so, be great. Yeah, yeah. I would love that. And it's always that like big glob of like, when they're there and they're just like, <laughs> and it like, you can hear it and it goes like splat right Smith. on your pussy and then the they like smush it in because it's kind of like fallen off center literally yeah it i mean that's me that's me when i'm giving like a wet blow job yeah. it will be like oops i just <laughs> spat all over your pubes it's so, <laughs> it's so hard to do but i would much rather you didn't do that while yeah. i'm there like silently gagging to myself <laughs> oh yeah well you just, have a weird thing yeah. I please was, just get the i loop, was please. literally having sex the other day and for the first time in ages i was like oh you could totally spit in my mouth Mmm. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's a different kind of wet, but yeah, still hot. It is hot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not for me, but for many other people. For many other people. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry, it's making me gag slightly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, foreplay, use lube as well, basically. Yeah. It's a great lube. tip. It's yeah. a great tip for our curious fucker. Okay, just gotta curious get, fucker. Gotta get the images out of my head, and then I compose myself. <sighs> so group sex. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite topics i know i was gonna say i have not had group sex in ever you've had group sex i had a threesome once that's a group <laughs> <laughs> that's a very small group that's group but do you use like when you've been in your like sex party scenarios mm. or your 12 person orgy at hedonism did you use lube? <laughs> like, what was the situation there? I mean, I didn't use lube because there's a lot going on. But there's always at sex parties. There's always like you've got like the condoms and the lube. Yeah, and it makes sense to use lube. Mm -hmm. um, the best times to use lube that I found are with threesomes, and yeah. it's, there's almost like a really lovely caring element to that part of the threesome. Doesn't matter what you're doing, but when I've had threesomes before and going and getting the lube mm. i don't know there's something like really lovely about it it feels like really wholesome Caring. And, yeah cute and like throppily and i'm, I'm in love with that <laughs> throppily so i'm trying to remember if i used the during that threesome that i did have but it was a bit of a my threesome was really like i don't it wasn't like a full form for film full fledged threesome yeah, wow it's that's still, really hard to say it's still sex maybe not penetrative sex but yeah it's still i mean sex. i had the penetration mm -hmm. but i just yeah i don't i don't remember the lube scenario mm, yeah i feel like you're a, a legend if you remember that element if you remember to get the lube when you're having group sex or that's the thing because i was thinking isn't there so much going on that you wouldn't necessarily remember that stuff mm. you've had like quite a lot of threesomes recently do you always remember or is it like no. again it's so intense so much is going on but i wish i do yeah because because there is so much going on. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, tell a lie. When I'm having a threesome with a strap-on involved, mm. there is always lube. Yes. But the strap-on doesn't always come out. Yeah. But the strap... Yeah, what's different? The... What's the difference between a strap on and a penis? They're both dry as fuck. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> that is so <laughs> true. <laughs> I mean, uh, unless uh, you've got the pre-cum everywhere, which yeah, you shouldn't well, really, because actually you could have lubricated condoms. I was just about to say condoms. Threesomes, you're using condoms and condoms sometimes can dry me out, which yeah. is why I just need to go and get the lube anyway. Yeah, I found exactly the same thing mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, I feel the same way with condoms. Like sometimes that happens to me as well. And mm -hmm. getting like the water-based lubes involved just makes the sex so much better, so much easier and like... Just nice. Yeah. Oh my God. Water-based lube and condoms. What? <gasps> Say what? Say what? 
Whoa. Just, wait, the ones that we have here in the studio? I mean, that is such a smart <laughs> idea, though, making co condoms with lube. Yeah. 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 Easy access. Nice. Easy access. <laughs> nice one, Jurex. <laughs> Speaking of the Naturals range, which we um, have here with us in the studio, courtesy of Durex, who have sponsored this podcast. Should we chat a little about it now? Yeah, I think this is a great time to chat about these products. This is this is my favorite Durex range because mm. of it being natural. It's really important for me for like to have natural ingredients. The extra sensitive one, because uh -huh. I found that sometimes my vagina can just be like, whoa, hold up, what's going on there? So yeah. yeah sometimes she's a moody little bitch. Yes, fickle. Like <laughs> I'm giving so you fickle. sex and pleasure. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Fuck. I swear sometimes she just doesn't want anything in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> there. There's also a massive stigma around women putting stuff down there. Which is why the naturals range is so good because it is pH friendly. Love which a bit of pH. makes us feel so much better about using these products little vaginas so we got the pure of the intimate gel from naturals oh, we yeah. have oh yeah the extra sensitive and moisture whoa like how more moisture can you get from <laughs> lubricant whoa that's some slip and slide action so the naturals range also has the condoms which is coated in 98 percent natural lubricant which is super awesome as well they are also the thin Durex range, they're like super so lovely to touch. They're like silky. Yeah. They're right. nice. super nice. Got that silk, silky name. I want that inside me. Yeah, also silky toys. It's not just for penis owners. This is true. Toys too, especially in group scenarios, you want to cover your toys. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. People never think about that with mm -hmm. like strap-ons and stuff. Mm -hmm. You really should condom up everything you're using in a group. Especially if it's like sherbet dib-dabbing and loads of holes especially that mm -hmm. yeah and changes the condom every single time shall we read another listener's story oh thank you i use lube pretty much every time in solo and partnered sex with male partners it's always me grabbing the lube it makes it more pleasurable for p and v sex for me and i get less irritation i found that it's so poorly understood by men they rarely even own lube and it's me reaching for it and asking them to use it during rather than them initiating. I've had experiences where men think I need lube because something is wrong. Fully grown, experienced men. My experience with female partners has been so different. Lube is a given. It's talked about openly. We've shopped for it together, which makes for a more positive and enjoyable time. Shopped for it together. That's so... I think it just shows that everyone needs to learn more about lube and people's bodies as well it's so under educated yeah. I've, I've found in the past that it's, it is mainly men mainly men that just don't really maybe because they don't use lube or again they haven't been taught but well they don't have vaginas they have penises that yeah. don't need to get wet and they don't need to be lubricated unless they're into butthole play and then yeah. that's quite fun yeah yeah um but I, I, I completely relate to this person yeah. and it sounds like, yeah, uh, the experiences that I've had where I have been with anyone other than a cis man yeah. has been so luby. It's so true. And it's really sad. And I think it happens with me, like with new mm. partners. I'm always like a bit like, oh, how are they going to feel about me wanting to get the lube out? Are they going to not understand? Are they mm. going to think that something's wrong with me? And there's always this line of questioning in my mind, like just like the seconds before I go and reach the lube. And I'm always like, should I, can I, and I ask them permission yeah. Yeah, to get the lube? Permission. And they're like, yeah, sure. Oh, and especially as this person's mentioned experienced people. Yeah. You know, I, I get it. If you're younger, maybe you might not have taught, been taught that much about lube. Mm. Like you're an older person now. You should have done your research. You should be looking into how to pleasure your partners. And lube is just one of the one of the ones that needs to be there. Yeah. I think I'd be really disappointed if I ended up shagging someone who was like, an experience I always think of like experienced Dom yeah and it's like yeah but are you though if you just don't grab the lube I do find that like the older I get the more people are open to using lube mm -hmm. and like more into it because yes 
um, I'm hoping that with age become like comes wisdom. We, yeah, well, it's sex wisdom. Yeah, and, but also um, like I, I, for any ages as well. I think mm -hmm. if you're not in the spaces where you're having these like conversations, which as we know, so many people aren't, then you're not going to be educated, yeah. and you're just maybe going to think something's wrong with you. Yeah. Plus, move on from the immature ones that just don't really know how to communicate with yeah. sex. Don't it's really kind feel of comfortable getting those important aids into the bedroom. No, right? I am not spending my time with those people. It's anymore. like a red flag. Yeah, red flag. Me. Like, what? You're intimidated by sex toys and lube? <laughs> the thing is, it's like, it should be a conversation that mm. we're having with people. Like, if someone is like, oh, why, why are you using that? Or, you know, it should be like, I'm using this because mm -hmm. these are the facts, you know, like yeah. rather than, but also at the same time, it's like, I don't want to fucking educate every it's, single it's person. It's not our responsibility. I, maybe it's just like a, a have a gut feeling if yeah. you feel comfortable enough to show them a better way. Cause that is the honorable thing to do. Teach yeah, them because they sure. have not been taught. Yeah. But it's not your responsibility. Sometimes you're like, well, if I teach you, you're going to go off into the world yes, and give yeah. so many people so much more pleasure. That's how we feel. Like, here, take my knowledge with you. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. Gandalf. I get like Frodo. so bored of that. <laughs> go to Mordor. <laughs> Loop up that fucking volcano. Is that a volcano? <laughs> no. Isn't Is it? I don't know. Oh my God. Um, I actually watched Lord of the Rings not too long ago as well. Loved it. Like rewatched the whole series again. Mordor. Yeah. yeah. All With right. Gandalf stuff. Oh my God. I'm so into you Frodo the, and Samwise Gamgee. How do they always get oh. that ring on and off? You know how stuck rings get. Lube. Exactly. They had lube on set. 100%. <laughs> Sometimes I think people get a bit scared of using lube as well because they kind of associate it with people that are more kinky than the average person. Yeah. And they're like, well, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'll leave all that stuff, all those sex apparatus. It's always like the, in the in the apparatus the bag, right? Yeah. It's like part of the lube. I mean, it should be there for everyday sex. Yeah, 100%. My, my lube is next to my bed, right next to my toys. Yeah. And it's there and it's, it's just, I'm lying in bed yeah. and it's just an arm reach away. I don't have to do shit else you know for what? it i need to move my lube closer where's your lube so it's i've got like these drawers underneath my bed that i pull oh, out and they've got all my sex toys like nice. all the condoms all the lubes but the other night i was having sex and i had to like i was like trying to do it in a really sexy way but it did not come across in a sexy way like yeah. leaning back like <laughs> arms dangling over the bed <laughs> trying to grab like doing some kind of aerobic ab acrobatics mm -hmm. to get my loop whereas if i put it on my bedside table it would just be there yeah and also you're showing it off to the world so anyone else that sees it, it's like oh normalizing yeah. lube cool exactly and i think that's really important mm -hmm. like it should be standard on your bedside table but obviously some people might be a bit embarrassed i mean that's on them <laughs> about this it is. they should be listening to this podcast if you <laughs> <laughs> have it out loud and proud or just like in the little drawer underneath yeah next to the face cream mm. next to the hand moisturizer and your lube i wonder what is <laughs> in the curious fuckers bedside table <gasps> i would love to know that you should do like a lucky dip yeah what's, what's on your bedside table literally mm. take photos of uh, your essentials what's in your drawer mm. yeah show us what your essentials are for the your, the everyone has a sex drawer right or is that just us? I mean, I've got like several sex drawers. <laughs> yeah, several. My sex drawers are like this yeah, big. Yeah, like there's giant two of them. Under the bed, yeah. <laughs> Although, I mean, it's not about the size, is it? You know, we can't be like, I got a bigger sex drawer. It, I've even got just, the biggest sex drawer. Even just having a bit of lube. I feel like a bit of lube's all you need, right? A bit of lube. It's bit all of lube. you need. Some, and condoms. some condoms. And a vibrator. And a vibrator. Obviously. Yeah. For all genders yeah, as for well. All genders. All genders. Mm. Everyone should have vibrators on hand. Mm. For better sex every day. In our opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm pretty wet after this episode. Moist. I, I mean, who knew we could talk so much about Lou? <laughs> who knew? <laughs> our favorite yeah. subject. Who knew we could talk about it for like yeah. a whole fucking hour? And the best bit is to round up, we have a delightful little Jurex deal for oh. you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
And because this episode is sponsored by our friends at Jurex, their Naturals Rage, we have a delightful, very moistening code for you. Oh, dripping wet. Dripping wet code. Something to get you super wet. (laughs) So we got 20% off their Naturals Range, which is all of this stuff here. Delicious. If you use the code FG20, that's FG20 on jurex.co.uk. What do you think FG stands for? Is it like fucking, fuck's given? (laughs) Wow, Reed. I thought it was gonna be like fucking go or like, I was trying so hard. That was that. We we gotta keep that bit in. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, everyone should go and get their hands on the Naturals range. Try it out. We really recommend it. And this has been so fun to record. Yeah, baby. In person. In person. Oh my God. I wish we could do this all the time. I know. The, to the future. To, to the, the future. future. And of course, if you have loved this episode, scream and shout it from the rooftops. Mm. Share it with your friends, especially wow. if they've mentioned anything about vaginal dryness yeah. or just painful sex. Yeah. Let's get rid of all these stigmas and share this episode loud and proud so people can start feeling more comfortable to use lube and make their sex more comfortable normalize it in conversations and within heart and solo pleasure and if you want to hear more from us we are on youtube at come curious instagram at come curious and our personals at read amber x and florence bark see you next thursday curious fuckers Bye. bye